During our first mission to the Philippines, we asked 100 men in New Guinea prison who had converted from crime to Christ to write their testimonies that will be published in our book, Trojan Warriors. And we announced at that meeting that we would meet with the Director Makala of the Bureau of Corrections and pray that God would bless the work. Now here is that prayer. How are you doing? Hi! Oh, oh you the Yeah, okay, sure. Yes, of course. We'll go through it and we're going to share with the mission and thank you for your help and we'd like to talk to you. So nice. Okay. This is the director of Shadow. Oh, hello. Please join us. Miss Al how are you doing? Please meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Andy. This is Gordon. And this is our lady pastor assistant. And we'll go through. Yeah, okay. thank you. Uh, the director and. Thank you. Very pleased to meet you, sir. Now it's been a, it's been a pleasure to come to meet you, and we just really like to have you on the video because um, we'd like you to really express to the world uh, your, your, your your work here and. Um, and it would be very nice to have some words of encouragement and we'd like to thank you for your help. So could you tell us your name please? My name is uh, Ricardo Mahala. Can you tell me, if you're allowed to, how many inmates do you look after? Uh, more than 23,000. 23,000? Yeah. That's a really yeah, lot. Now I understand. Yeah. Oh, you've got something there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the exact figure is... 23,645. Really? That's an awful lot. That's, that's more I'll than... Give you, I'll give you... Yeah, please. That, 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 that's more than some villages. Uh, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, it's we, more we, than a town. It's a town, isn't it? Yeah. Now, um, it's quite an awesome task. We understand that this prison is probably one of the biggest prisons in the Philippines. Is that so? Yes, yes, yes. The, the, this is the National Penitentiary. The National Prison? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We are taking care... We are the... Uh, uh, under, under our supervision and control, our prisoners who sentence is from three years to one day up to death. Really, it's amazing, isn't it? That's, that's it. Now, Gordon and I, when we came to the prison, we were not aware of the Christian work that's been done. And we have been really amazed, amazed, to say the least. amazed at the work. And we want to give thanks and, and encourage you to carry on the work. What have we, we tell Gordon what we've met? Well, we've, we've, we've met uh, a number of Christian groups with, who have raised up within your prison men who are now pastors capable of teaching others and leading others to a knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is a wonderful and work that you've allowed to go on in this prison. And this is quite amazing because I don't think there's many prisons around the world like it. And we, this obviously. Well, uh, we do not uh, call our, our institution now a prison, we call it correction. 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 Yeah. yeah. So it, this is something it's just addition, isn't it? Yeah. So it's reformation too. Yes, so in order to reform and to, and to correct a person, we must address the three needs uh, of the man, and that is his uh, physical, intellectual, and spiritual needs. Very good, yeah. And it's working. It's working. It's working. Now, we, we you treat a person as a human being, and he will remain a human being. Yeah. A creation into the image of God. Yeah, brilliant. Wonderful. <laughs> now, we yeah. have the privilege also of visiting the Under Secretary Kalida who came to one of yeah, the meetings, yeah, the Trojan Horse meeting. And I've written a report which I would like to give you a copy to. This has gone to the President. Yeah. And we've, we've suggested some, some um, recommendations and encouragement. And we've suggested a reform for the nation that, if it be possible, some of your men that have been trained up in the ministry here, that are not a threat to, to when they'll be released, to be allowed to visit other prisons and preach and teach. Now he suggested there may be a problem of um, security. Yes. So to overcome that problem he suggested other prisoners from the minimum or medium prison could come here and learn from the men that are trained. And he suggested I'd put a draft proposal with the uh, Christian groups here 
put a suggestion forward. And we're just going to share that with you. Because we believe the work that's been going on here is exceptional. And we're going to report back to England and on the video. We hope so. We're very pleased. that the, the, the problem will be security. Yes, we realise that. So we are this under is what and we cannot now provide yeah, uh, additional right. security for this kind of work. The authority comes from uh, the, uh, the President Darzell. Yes. Or the Honourable Secretary yes. of Justice. Then yeah. we can do We will send the details through to you. Now, that's, that's lovely. Because we feel that would help you. Yeah, yeah I think it would be very helpful. Mm -hmm. Now, before we leave, who is your secretary? My secretary. Can we see her? Where is she? Miss Dia. This lady here. I understand she's a very good help to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, want, uh, we want this lady to be on the camera back. Is she a good secretary? Yeah. Very, very good. Perception. Yeah. Is, is this your assistant? Yeah. And is this your other assistant? Uh, are they quite helpful? The help? assistant director for operations, yes. director Rashaga, and the assistant director for administration, assistant director Yogi Park. We'd like to pray with you before we go. Thank you. Yes, Gordon, I'll pray and you pray. Yes, you, I think you pray first. Can we get them, I'll take them in a circle praying together. Can we pray together? Yeah, yeah. Please, I think it's very important. Mm -hmm. Director McCarla, we, 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 we bring you before the Lord now and all your staff, yes. and we pray, living God and Father in heaven, of our Lord Jesus, you will give this man the wisdom of Solomon, yes. that he may conduct his affairs here in this prison justly and rightly, yes. and that he may be a true servant of the living God. We pray for his staff, that they will work with him and for him, yes. and bring about all the reforms that they, they desire to do. And we, pray, we pray for the President. Yes. That, uh, that, that, that the president herself would in fact have her prayers answered and we know that in this very prison there are prisoners being converted and saved and they've been helpful in keeping the regulation and the rules and supporting uh, the, the director of this prison yes. so we commend him to you now give him the desires of his heart yes. we ask these things in the Lord Jesus name Amen, Amen. We met and worked with many inmates of NBPTI Theological Institute Lucas Dungatton had founded this institute in 1992 when he was released from the prison. This institute was where Michael had received help and was baptised by Lucas and also William Pollock was to graduate with a degree in theology. During our visit, Lucas Dungatton agreed that we would develop his work together to form a teacher training college, enabling converted inmates to teach the gospel to others and upon their release, from prison to go back to their own towns, cities or villages to preach the gospel. And William Pollock was the first of these men to be released and return to his city and preach the gospel in August 2002. We felt it an honour to conduct this mission and we felt it was a remarkable success as will be seen in the results that followed. We agreed to return the following year with the published testimonies of 100 inmates and to conduct another mission and visit Baguio City and other venues.